Welcome to bsdtutorial.org. Now it's time to explain how to add normal users so they can be able to use the Rote account. So why do we want this? Well, imagine that you are working on your machine and using it more like a desktop system. And in case that all commands you're running as root uh, are affecting the system without even asking. So some people asked for this, uh, why using root? Because it's an ex uh, it's can give security problems. I both agree on that and I say that uh, yes, it's true because if you do an error, because FreeBSD won't ask you because it just do what you say if you're root. Uh, so for this reason, well, at the same time, I think that depending on, I always been uh, administering my servers as root and I didn't make any errors yet. And if I do errors, I surely have backups, which is very important, but that doesn't matter. Uh, for it, now we're going to show how to add users to root and what it does and how it functions. This is very simple actually. First I need to add an additional user. You can see I'm logged in with root because you can see the hash mark over there. And if I do like this, who am I? It explains that I'm root. So let's add a user. Add user. And the username I want is Plex in this time. And I call him Plex also. Uh, user ID I leave it default. Login group or Plex, I don't add one yet. I don't invite him to other groups because here I can invite him to the road group directly. And that name is Wheel. Uh, but I don't do it right now because in most cases you want to add them later. So the login class is default. It's going to use this shell. If you want other shells, you can select it. Home directory, I'm satisfied with it. And I'm going to use the normal permissions there. And uh, I'm going to use password based authentication. I don't want to use empty password and I don't want a random. Now I can put the password. And I don't want to lock out the user. This is okay. Here it shows what we've been writing. And one interesting thing that user IDs are beginning with 1001 and they increase like next user get 1002, 1003, etc. Everything under user ID 1000 is for the system itself. So normal users are over 1000. Okay, this looks correct. I press uh, yes there and I don't want to add additional users. Okay, so I can log out to log in as Plex now, but there is a much easier way. If you type SU, which is substitute user, and the username. Now, if I look, who am I? You can see that I'm Plex right now. And no worries, this doesn't function. If you're a normal user, you cannot write SU to change to another user. Uh, I guess you can if you have the password for them, but in most cases you don't have their passwords. Uh, but okay, if I try to change to wrote now, which is SU, it says uh, bad SU for Plex and it cannot give us this service. So why can't it? Why can't I change the road right now? Well, the answer is simple. I'm not invited to the to the group of the administrator wrote. To do this, I, okay, I was writing exit. Sorry for missing. I didn't explain that step. If you write exit, you go out from that user logged in when you substitute them with su command. For example, I show you again. If I type su and a username, I become that user, as you can see. If I type exit here, I go back to my normal user, which was the road in this case. So how do we do? How do we add this user plex to the, to the, to the administrator? Well, it's quite simple. We need to edit the etc groups. etc group, I mean. In this file, you find wheel over here. Wheel is the route for the route, as you can see route over there. If you want to add other users, you do like this. And then you type the username. This is enough. You just write and save this file. Now if I try su command as a change to plex, you remember that when I typed su to become the super user, it was denying me. 
but now it's asked for the road password this time. And I'm and then I was able to change the road. So now I am road, and if I as you see, and if I log out again with exit, I become the user Plex again. Um, so this means that normal users are able to have the root uh, permission, but they need to have the root password to be able to log in as root. It doesn't mean that if I am, for example, uh, the user Plex, uh, I cannot log in as root if I don't have the password for it. So both I need to be invited to the wheel group and to have the password.